My heart was pounding. I was sat down, strapped in, no going back, holding my friend Rachel's hand hard. And then we started moving. Lights came on in sections, in sequence, with a thumping noise. Th, 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 whoosh! No, that was not a rocket launch. That was me riding the Hulk, the scariest roller coaster at Universal Resort in Florida. But let's start the story from the beginning. I was traveling to the US for work, one week in California, another in Florida, with three free days in between. So what's a girl to do? Well, my friend Rachel said, being that she is a Harry Potter fan, we must go to Universal Resort. I am not a Harry Potter fan, and I think it would have been the late 80s when I was last at a theme park, but hey, we went. We stayed overnight at the resort so that we were first in the park in the morning, and we went straight to a Harry Potter section. First stop, a roller coaster, small one. I turned to Rachel and say, I don't do roller coasters. You go, I'll wave at you. Rachel was quite speechless at that revelation, but off she went. Afterwards, we went across the road to this big Harry Potter castle thingy. And there was a roller coaster there too, but virtual. Rachel says, well, that's virtual. You can do that one. Not quite believing her. I asked one of the staff members in the queue. She said it was perfectly fine. There were no upside down bits, no scary bits. Fine. So I went. I liked it. We flew virtually, of course, but on brooms over the castle and the rivers and forest bits with Harry and the gang. Likely a scene from one of the movies totally lost on me, but I I felt the wind on my face and I liked the thrill of adventure, even when the wicked spider spat at us. I felt like an excited child. Later that morning, we took the Hogwarts Express to King's Cross Station. It was so funny to see London there so very realistic. And the Americans on the train, of course, they thought it was awesome that they were riding with some Brits. Of course, not actually really a Brit. But they asked us about the weather in London and asked us to say a few words in English. From King's Cross straight to New York and the Jimmy Fallon show. The virtual ride there was a car chase through New York. Fab, really fast driving and flying, of course. And so the afternoon went on from ride to ride, of course, with some ice cream along the way. I found myself really enjoying all the flying, leaning into each corner, feeling each move and enjoying really every drop and saying at the end of each one, I want more, like an excited child. The sun was starting to set when we got to the big one, a real roller coasting bright green. Yes, the incredible Hulk. Stretching over three quarters of a mile with seven inversions, two subterranean trenches, and a top speed of over 60 miles an hour, a minute and a half of utter madness. Rachel was beside herself with excitement. Are you sure you don't want to do that? Ten minutes later or so, she came back, trembling, excited, really excited. Jude, she calls me Jude sometimes, so, Jude, you have to do this one. You said you wanted more. This is more. Come on, do it, and then you know if you like it. Are you sure I'm not going to fall off the chair and just die out of fear? Yes. And if you don't like it, you can punch me. I was tempted. 
No, not to punch her. She's a good friend. But you see, I'm not one for what ifs. But I really do fear death. Okay, let's do it, I said. With quite some trepidation, we went in to face the Hulk, the nemesis of in control, Sonia. And before we knew it, we were sat on a train. My heart is pounding. Sat down, strapped in, no going back now, holding Rachel's hand hard. And then we start moving. Lights come on in sections, in sequence, with a thumping noise. Th, 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 whoosh! 40 miles an hour, up 150 feet. That was our launch. I briefly see the dark blue and pink sky before I scream and close my eyes. One minute and 30 seconds. I scream for 90% of it. Closing my eyes every time we go upside down, only manage to get a glimpse here and there of the green tracks and the sunset sky. I'm just going so, so fast, passing backwards and forwards, my neck trying to leave my body, my hands, my palms are sweating, my throat is dry, so why am I screaming? It all happened so fast and then, then the train comes to a stop. I am alive. I can talk and I can walk. My heart is racing, but, but not too bad. I didn't hate it. I didn't love it either, but Rachel was right. Now I know I can ride real roller coasters. So my friends, the Hulk is my nemesis, no more. And I'm the eternal child. Sometimes scared, sometimes jumping without thinking. Always in search of adventure. Thank <laughs> you.